Oh. We are oh. Get down! Get down! Get What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. It's that time of the week to focus on personal growth by reacting to people doing dumb shit on TikTok. As always, we have our trusty knowledge hammer. Hello, bozo. Ready to scold individuals who are doing stupid shit. Let's get started. Say that again. I don't, know, I don't have to say it again. You heard me. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Okay, so, so I've been nothing but kind to you. You don't have to tell me to shut up. Well, I try to explain to you. You started. No, I just asked what you're doing. That, so let's just end it right there before it gets any worse. Well, it's, it's just going to get worse for you, John, because you're representing the board. Uh, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. Okay, well, don't tell me to shut up and get back in my house, okay? <sighs> this, this gets to me. So this is a dispute between a homeowner and the homeowners association. Let me tell y'all a little secret. People who are on homeowners associations are a bunch of Karens. They literally have nothing better to do. That's why I'm, I'm saying sorry. Pro tip, if you're buying a house, don't buy it in an area that has an HOA. Just because you have an HOA doesn't make your neighborhood nicer. That's total BS. It's just a mini form of tyranny. There are literally lawyers whose sole practice revolves around HOA, fighting HOAs because they are pain in the ass. And to be fair, the homeowner could totally be in the wrong, but I'm still on his side. Yeah, that oh my god knowledge hammer for the driver knowledge hammer for the driver this you know what i was gonna say this is why we have commercial driver's license because obviously if you want somebody operating a commercial vehicle you want them to be more trained than a standard person but that's really not applicable here because any person with a driver's license should know not to make a full u-turn on the freeway no camera moving on oh tony how much you making tips today two dollars just two dollars two dollars just two dollars yeah. <laughs> yo tony how much you make if you go to the irs and you go to form 3949A, that is the form for reporting tax fraud. So essentially, the gist of this TikTok was this car wash owner was going to this guy and saying, hey, how much did you make in tips today? The guy said $2 and then he reported him to the IRS. That is terrible. Can we get an F in the chat for my man, Tony, whose bosses report his $2 tips to the IRS? Ah, uh, damn it, Tony. Both cars hit each other in this viral accident, but he only released his side of the accident. It was only half of it. He also hit her, but we only saw her hit him. Let me explain. This is the footage that Matt released of his car getting rear-ended. So we've seen this part where the Audi rear-ends the Lambo again. He pulls up and she hits him from behind. He released all of this footage of her getting mad, but she was telling the truth. No, you hit me! Oh yeah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's and she was telling the truth, but he never released this footage. It shows his Lamborghini coming up and sideswiping her at a red light at the intersection. So technically they're both at fault. He sideswiped her first and then she rear-ended him, but then Matt only showed the footage of her hitting him. And now she's suing for defamation of character because it got 40 million views. She was Whoa. telling the truth. Why don't you hit my car? You, you did that to the front of my fucking car. Oh yeah? <laughs> What's funny? Uh, that's my new car. Usually, when you rear end people, that's not how this works. Uh, it's okay. That I'm gonna call the cops real quick. But yeah, you're saying that I hit you from behind. No, you hit me in the front of it. Remember when I was at a red light? You went in front of me and hit my car. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, probably move the car from thing, and I'll call the cops for you. 
Look this. You are here and she can shoot. You see? Do you have where it went in or where she drove into it? Or? You look, you were here mm -hmm. and she can look. You see? Oh, let's see what really happened. Hit me from the front. Side swipe me while I was at a red light. The same lady that had the first video? Whoa, chill, bro. Okay, that's in reverse. We need to see it the other way. Okay, here we go. Chill, bro. You got to watch out for that, dude. All right, this is him. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So you're telling me that, that he sideswiped you right there. We need to see this. All right, so that's when he sideswiped you by cutting over and missing this dude is what it is. She don't look so crazy now, does she? You stupid ass gonna put it on TikTok. Guess what? I hope your checkbook's ready because you're about to get sued. Okay, so this is very interesting. So there were two separate collisions. The first collision where the guy sideswiped the girl and then the girl rear-ended the guy. Now looking from these numbers, the guy posted his side of the story and it got 38.4 million views. She posted her side of the story and it got 2.8 million views. Hmm. This is very interesting. I'm trying to think if this is defamation. So getting into an accident isn't necessarily a crime. So it's not like this guy was falsely accusing her of a crime. So it's not defamation per se. Now, that doesn't mean it can't be defamation. Clearly, the video made her seem unreasonable. It made her seem crass. It made her seem aggressive. So, so That's my new car. The guy did cause the first collision. Now, the girl did hit him from behind. Now, whether that was an accident or on purpose, I don't know. But it definitely seems like that hit from behind was pretty hard. But the question is does him posting that video excluding the key fact of the first collision amount to defamation i'm gonna say it depends remember civil torts revolve around damages what kind of damages has she suffered embarrassment loss of employment loss of reputation those are things that i don't know i don't know what has happened in her real life i want to know what y'all think is this defamation and if it is how much would y'all award if any if a lawsuit was brought let me know down below in the comments thanks presenter harvey yes i just gave one more question i'm the only one that got charged with narcotics yes all right as to your bond your bond's based upon your prior criminal history thanks presenter damn yes unfortunately y'all listen rip to my dude he got snitched on but that's foreseeable i can guarantee you that all your friends are your friends until you get to a point where they are literally offered a deal to serve less jail time in exchange for ratting on you then they're gonna rat on you Oh. <laughs> Let's watch that one more time because it's funny. <laughs> now, could the individual who got hurt sue for personal injuries? I would argue no. They're clearly both consenting to this game, and this game isn't crazy enough to warrant the discussion we had with the squid games they're not threatening their life they are literally doing it because they want to cause each other temporary pain even if it's very very excruciating for five minutes <laughs> is that a field goal the answer is yes. Refs count as part of the playing field. So he hit the ref, hit his head, went up, field goal. Let's watch it again. <laughs> I give this guy a contract.
You think that he would notice somebody's filming him from above? Oh. We are a dead man! Dead man! Get out of got me! The first thing he says is, you got me. I don't know what legal knowledge I can really add to this video. He was clearly breaking in. Maybe the use of force at the beginning. Here, look, the, the officer comes and uses a baton before the guy even knows that he's there. But... The guy is holding a crowbar. So I would argue this is a justified use of force. The guy has a crowbar. He's clearly breaking in. You're using less than lethal force to disarm him right away. There you go. I added something of value to this conversation. But the robber does need to get the knowledge hammer. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. My goal is always to make content worthy of your time. We're having a lot of fun over here. I think we just passed 444,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I ask that you consider subscribing if you want to join this community. We do a lot of fun stuff, a lot of variety types of content. All right, y'all, thanks for watching again. Talk to you soon. Bye. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom